Hey, Tom Wiley here, and a quick tip today. I'm going to show you how to draw a straight line on a round pipe or tube. Okay, so what I've got is a piece of two inch round tubing, and I want to, it's more round on that end, I want to cut a slice just like this along this this side and then again on this back side here I want to be able to put this bolt all the way through and have it be able to slide in this slot and it, I'm not cutting all the way to the ends I'm just cutting this this one you know this piece out so then I, I need to turn this around and cut an identical slot on this side right here so how do you draw a straight line on a piece uh, you know on something that's round now why is this such a problem let's put this on the bench and see so on a normal piece let's let's just use this square tubing as an example you could use a straight straight edge like this ruler and you could you know mark you could measure in you know say I want to split it in half as a two inch piece so I'd mark one inch here one inch here and then I just lay the straight edge between those two marks and I draw a straight line. Um, that's easy because it's it's easy to measure you know from here over an inch from here over an inch and then and then I can draw this you know put the straight edge on. The straight edge is not wanting to roll or twist or anything like that. I'm it's just very easy. But when you have a piece of round stock like this and you try to put a straight edge on it um, for one thing it's wanting to the the, the, the uh, round stock the tube will want to roll on the table this will want to roll around the tube the straight edge will plus how do you measure from here straight over because your measurement like where do I put the tape measure you know it'll it'll catch on the edge here you know but it's there's no definite you know edge point you could kind you can you can sort of make it work if you have a square and go, come up from the table and then you can measure off of the square like that 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 will kind of work and that that you can be actually pretty decently uh, accurate with that but um, in my inst in my uh, example I want to cut from this bolt, this is a half inch bolt, I want to cut a half inch slot so that the bolt slides up and down in that slot and isn't too sloppy. So basically I want a center mark and then I want to go roughly a quarter inch, it'll be I think slightly less both directions. So what do we do? We use some uh, angle iron. This is one inch angle iron, This is the, uh, the dimension here is not critical, the size of it. But basically notice if you lay it on and hold it against the, the pipe or the tube it makes a straight edge so long as this angle iron is relatively straight and you hold it here and here it will provide a straight reference because it's contacting along here and it's contacting along here so it'll it'll provide a nice straight edge reference that is square or uh, you know is parallel to the length axis of the tube. So I have some some marks on here that I'm matching up with. I'm going to turn this around so it's a little easier. I already marked one mark here. I'm going to mark another one here. Right about. Of course my marker is having trouble because it's so cold. Right about there. Okay. So all I do is hold the angle iron against the tube and I'm getting a pretty, I'm not holding it totally tight, I'm kind of, because I'm unable to hold it in the middle. But there, now I have marked a nice slot that is, that the edges of which are totally parallel to the edges of the pipe. And if I sight down it, that looks, that looks pretty good. So now I can go ahead and cut this this other piece out and I'll have this perfect slot through there that is straight along the length of the pipe. 
Well, I hope you liked this tip on how to draw a straight line on a piece of round stock. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment below if you found it useful or if you have any questions. Um, also, subscribe to this channel. There's going to be a lot more of this coming, a lot of metalworking, a lot of remodeling stuff, um, DIY handyman stuff in general. So uh, if you'd like what you see here, subscribe and you'll find you'll get more coming straight to your inbox and to your uh, your YouTube account. So thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.